Good afternoon. My name is Claudia and I'm here with Mr. Rush. Mr. Rush has been with us for uh, almost two years. Well, a little bit over two years. It came uh, May of uh, 19. Oh, wow. Yeah. And what brought you over to Creekside? Pardon? What brought you over to Creekside? Well, I was having, uh, before Creekside, I had a stroke, which was a catalyst for me to have multiple seizures. I was started off having silent seizures, and they progressed to grand mal seizures. My mobility, I was losing mobility, so by the time I got to Creekside, I was not, not able to walk uh, without assistance, and so uh, my family found Creekside as a place for me to come and rehab, uh, get my, my mobility back, and so on and so forth. So that's how I ended up at Creekside. Uh, but once I got here, uh, uh, I uh, ended up, uh, I was close to leaving and getting discharged, and I had another grand mal seizure, which uh, really took me out uh, to, to a place where it started to impair my uh, cog cognition. Uh, my thinking was really, really, really uh, off. And uh, soon thereafter, I contracted uh, COVID-19. And after I contracted COVID-19, uh, uh, it really went downhill. I went really uh, uh, had to go to the VA where they put me on the ventilator first uh, and they resuscitated me and they didn't have the uh, equipment to maintain me uh, or help me get better. So they sent me to Methodist and Methodist, when I got to Methodist, they decided to put me into a drug induced coma. They kept me in a coma for three days. And after that, uh, I was in the hospital for about three more three weeks, and they sent me back to Creekside to, to rehab again. And when I got here, after I came out of the coma, I was paralyzed. My arms were like this, and my chair. I couldn't move them at all. Couldn't move my legs. Uh, I, I remember uh, start vague memories of. Casey, who's my uh, occupational therapist, trying to get me to ring the, the, the call light. I couldn't even ring the call light. And uh, they were trying to get me up out of bed. They were trying to do a lot of things early on that I could, could not do for myself. And uh, they kept working with me and I kept having, I had the willingness. My brain wasn't uh, all there because I said I was impaired cognitively. And uh, but I knew that I wanted to get better. And I heard uh, somebody tell me in my process that if I kept trying, if I kept going to therapy, I would get better. And I believed them. I don't know if it was God, I don't know if it was a person, I don't know, but that voice kept resonating in my brain. If I keep, if you keep going to therapy, you're gonna get better. And uh, I kept going and I've gotten better. Um, it's been a long journey. I got out of the hospital May of 20. This is uh, uh, September 22. And uh, on September 30th, I leave here to go to assisted living. So it's been a long journey. I'll tell you the uh, thing that I would recommend uh, Creekside to anybody. The therapists you guys have here are, to me, the best. Casey and Caitlin. Caitlin is the lead, the head uh, uh, therapist. She's a physical therapist and Casey is an occupational therapist. But they really, you know, they just really walk me through the small nuances, like my fingers. And I, I call, I got a nickname for Caitlin. I call her the little general because she's, she's so tiny and she just, well, Nate, why don't we try this? I said, I've never done that. She said, why don't we try it? So I'll try it and we do it and we're successful. So uh, I, I can't uh, 
emphasize enough on how much uh, they've helped me get uh, my life together. The other thing about me personally, I'm a recovering person from drugs and alcohol. October the 10th, I'll celebrate 30 years of continuous recovery. Well, like I said, I, uh, I'm a recovering person from, I was a, primarily a heroin addict, injection drug user. And uh, I got clean 30 years ago, uh, October the 10th. Uh, it'll be 30 years for me. And the principles that I use in my recovery from drug addiction are the principles that I apply here in this recovery, in this rehab. You know, I'm honest about uh, what's going on with me. I'm open-minded to trying new things and I'm willing to try whatever it takes to, to uh, get better. So I practice those little simple spiritual principles in my life. Some people call them ethical principles, but I call them spiritual. I choose to call them spiritual principles. Those little, those three things uh, afford me the ability to accomplish many, many things. That's why, I, like I said, on September the 30th, I'll be going to assisted living. Uh, I remember uh, early this summer, I couldn't even uh, do a number two without assistance. I can do, I can take care of everything. I know it's kind of gross, so forgive me. This is a rehab facility, so I'll say it because I'm quite proud of my ability to take care of myself. Uh, I practically can take a shower by myself, but somebody needs to be in there to watch me. Probably one or two more times I got it. Um, the b most difficult thing I have t today uh, in terms of my recovery is putting my tent holes on my socks, your compression socks. It's difficult. I might need some help with that for a while, but other than that, I am really, really, uh, real, quite proud of how far I've come from being paralyzed a few months ago.